we have the next 10 years to turn the situation around. The reason being is not that we expect there to be no orangutans in 10 years, but it's certainly possible that their populations are no longer viable and eventually collapse. It's not that we believe there won't be any rainforest in 10 years time, but the ecosystems may be unsustainable, being the wrong shape, size and type of forest to support functioning ecosystems and functioning economies and environmental services from the ecosystems that support all life on Earth. It's not without coincidence that climate scientists are talking about the same thing. We've got 10 years to turn this around because we're already seeing the feedback loops, which is destroying our planet. More global warming is caused from the destruction of rainforests than all the transport systems in the world combined, all the trains, planes and ships. And that destruction obviously causes global warming, which then sets countries like Australia on fire, which causes more global warming. And then we are seeing the destruction of rainforests is starting to cause droughts in Indonesia because the rainforest naturally created a lot of the rain. And then the, their forests are more susceptible to burning, the productivity of the forest reduced, and you get this spiral of collapse of the ecosystems. Uh, and as we will also see with populations of endangered species when they reach a, a critical level in their populations. So what are we going to do about it? Well, the big picture is that we're eating into the future capacity of this earth to support future generations and the environment. Now, in 10 years, do we expect to solve the problem and hand over a viable working world ecosystem and economy to future generations? I don't think so. We've gone past that point. But what we can do is hand over a recoverable environment and therefore a recoverable economic system to support the prosperity of future generations. Our part in that is to save key ecosystems of the right type, shape and size of rainforest that orangutans, the other biodiversity and wildlife and the indigenous communities that live off the forest, that these areas are sustainable and we've only got the next 10 years to do that. Otherwise, we won't be able to piece together functioning ecosystems. And of course, all rainforest is not created equal. Often, I'm looking for areas to protect, which is highly degraded, because 80% of orangutans, elephants and tigers live in degraded forests. Because wildlife want to exist the same place that humans want to exist, in the highly fertile areas of lowland and riverine forest. And that is what is taken up first by the unsustainable monocultures such as palm or pulp paper and, and, and rubber. And so we must retain those and piece together ecosystems that are actually functioning. Saving rainforests in the hills um, is not a bad thing. Um, but can elephants orangutans and other species survive only in the highland forest? I doubt it. They need the lowland and particularly the riverine forest to survive in the long term and for us to piece together functioning ecosystems. So this is what we're doing. That's our main game, um, to hand over viable functioning ecosystems as real arcs of wildlife biodiversity which can be expanded by future generations. Now, one of our main activities at the moment is developing sustainable economies to support those. So within 10 years, we not only hope to save these ecosystems, but make them economically sustainable so the local and indigenous communities become wealthy and prosperous, and we don't no longer need charity money to support functioning viable ecosystems that we pass on future generations. So that's our big picture strategy as well as obviously the compassion and love for all living beings, orangutans, elephants, and of course people. So if you like these videos, please like and share. And, um, and if you have any suggestions on future videos, um, please add those in the comments. Thank you.